Come on, Oscar, you got this. What's going on, everybody, and welcome back. We're actually uh, headed down south to Cortez Village Marina, which, now I think of it, I don't think I've ever been there. We're actually gonna go look at a Regal LX4, and we'll check the marina a little bit, see what it's all about, so I'll see you down there. All right, we made it down. This marina is pretty big. I haven't been here before, so we'll have to take a walk around here. There's, I don't know if there's another building behind that one, but a lot of boats here for sure. Our boat, I think, should be over on the docks over here. They said they put it in the water for us, so let's go find it. We got us a big regal on our way around here. Here it is. I'll double check the serial number, but pretty sure this is it. Get my booties on here, we'll jump in. All right, looks like everything's already lit up for us here. I guess our only problem here is we don't get Yamaha information on the display when you turn the key on. Well, I got low voltage on the battery for one. You know, all we're seeing is gallons used. I got nothing. Well, this should just be getting information from the NEMA side of our Yamaha, so in order for the NEMA to work, we have to have power to it, and that's controlled through the stereo. Regal's a little different, they actually control it through the NRX power. So let's check that first before we take anything apart. All right, let's go in here first. Settings. The forklift starting in the background. We got power options. All right, so NRX power is on. That means we have NEMA connection. So this should show up over there. That's how we know it's working. Let's go to our media. Yep, so our fusion's showing up. That means that we have NRX power, like we should. So our NEMA is lit up. I guess the next easiest step would be to check the back of the units. Make sure that our Yamaha connection is plugged in. All right, before we get to the back of the dash here, let's combine our batteries and see if it starts. That way uh, we can get the batteries charging because it's a little low right now. All right, she's running. And then we're charging, I got it on both. I also noticed this, look at this. I'm gonna have to fix this while I'm here. This bracket fell down. That's with all of our battery stuff on here. I'm gonna have to through bolt it. I'm gonna have to drill holes and just bolt it back up here because they epoxied it, which obviously only works so long, so we'll fix that too. But we gotta go behind our dash here. Should be behind this. All right, so we have this cover plate that hides the back of the dash. Let me get that off real quick, just a few screws. All right, so I just checked all of our NEMA connections. We got some there. There's also some down here. Everything seems tight. So let's go pull the cowling off and we'll check under the motor, make sure nothing's uh, loose there. All right, we got the cowling off here. There's only one connection on the motor that would be loose if it's causing a problem. It'll be right here. This is where it gets its information from. Don't see anything wrong there, and it was plugged in good. Well, that harness is going to follow through the rig tube to this side here, so let's get underneath our hatch here. All right, we're opened up. Let's look in our compartment, see if we can figure out which way that goes. All right, so here is the harness right here, and it goes that way. Right there, that gray and white plug is where it's connected to, and then that goes up to the starboard side of the boat. So let's take off this panel, and see if the wire runs up here. All right, so I just took them all off so I can get access and see what's going on with our wiring here. I found the wiring. There's our power steering pump. There's an actuator right there for the power tower that's on these boats. And then we have just our main stuff, our control cables. But this wire here is our Yamaha, which I fished right here because this is our only connection from the motor. And everything looks good here. Let me unplug it. We got no corrosion, nothing wrong. Let's check this side of it. I don't see anything wrong with either side. So we gotta find where this ends up, which should be in the dash is my guess. All right, looking on the starboard side underneath. There's our cable right there. Looks like it leads us up front. Let me go back in our hole here. All right, so look at in here, right down there, there's our Yamaha connectors. 
that very end one that's the one that comes from the engine right there the gray one and then we have power in the end all right then coming off our Yamaha bus is this connector here which then turns us into a NEMA connector so our NEMAs go up through here all right so I traced it down and it goes to the right place and that plug right there that's the J1939 which is the Yamaha connector so it looks like everything's plugged in. The only thing we could be missing is power to our bus network for the Yamaha. So let's find that. All right, so here's off our key switch. And then this should be right here. This is going to be our power. And look at that. There's a ground. And there's a ground missing off of our other side from our key switch so let's plug those in maybe that's all it is all right we've checked everything and we found one problem so here's the moment of truth well look at that we have information let's fire it up make sure well good I'm glad it was only a connection that uh, all of our Yamaha stuff is all good. It was just a ground that came off the back here. I'm not sure why, if something got pulled, but uh, many possibilities there. We're working. I still gotta fix the through bolt the uh, battery compartment there, which won't take too long. It's not a big deal, easy enough. It's a little too hot out here, so let's go take a walk and look at some boats before we call it a day. So it looks like they just slide all these doors back and forth depending on what boat they're gonna get to. That's pretty cool. We're only gonna be able to just peek inside the doors here. So we got a release. Right in front of us, this is a Regal. I don't know what that is. It says Marine Custom on the back. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. We've got a big sailfish here. Let's see what's inside this little crack here. A Yamaha jet boat. I think that's a sportsman, that's what they call them. we got a Roballo here. Nice boat. To our next gap here. What do we got here? The Blue Wave. And here's a Cutwater. Those are unique boats, styling anyway. Yeah, a Cobia right here. Oh, look, dual council Grady White with a power pole. It's a 235, I think. We've got a little opening here. We've got a Grady White there. It's all covered up. We got a Pathfinder. It's our last hole here. We got another Grady White that's covered up. We got a Scout here. I like that pretty blue color. And another Sportsman. Must be a Sportsman dealer or something right here. We're coming around the corner, we got a mobile fiberglass guy here, that's cool. He's got his trailer rigged up, got a table with generators running. He's even got him a tent over here. But look at this thing. I want this. I wonder if I could trade the van for this. This would be a great workmobile. The whole thing's bed liner. Well, I don't want to get run over here. He's uh, moving boats where I can go over here. But they're busy, so I'm not going to do that. Plus, it's pretty noisy. I sneak in the barn here, try to hide from some of the noise. They got multiple forklifts running around here. Well, I'm gonna run back to the Regal here. It's gotta bolt up the uh, battery box that fell down there and button everything back up that I got taken apart. Hope you enjoy watching. Sorry I couldn't give you more of a tour of our marina here, but they're pretty busy, so. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time. Later. Oscar, look at your brother. <laughs>